much for tuning in to Miki today. We've got a great show planned for you. I don't know if you're like me and you've ever been tempted to hide your shortcomings. Well, it happens to a lot of us in the church. Today, we're talking about what happens when you actually take the mask off and receive the love and mercy found only in Jesus Christ. Miki starts right now. something that has happened in our culture today. It's not new, but it seems to perpetuate throughout the years that we as believers feel like we have to be something that we're not. We have to present to the world we've got it all together and we're okay. You know, this is, this is something that even happened during the time that Jesus walked this earth. I'm reminded of the story in Matthew. And if you have your Bible, would you turn there with me? Matthew chapter 9, uh, starting at verse 9. It says, as Jesus passed on from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax office. And he said to him, follow me. So he arose and followed him. Now it happened as Jesus sat at the table in the house that behold, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said to his disciples, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? When Jesus heard that, he said to them, those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. But go and learn what this means. I desire mercy and not sacrifice, for I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. This is something that's really difficult for us as believers. Why? Because we think that to the world, we've got to appear to have it all together. If you do a little research, a little study on exactly what Jesus was saying and who he was quoting, we learn that he was quoting the prophet Hosea in chapter 6, verse 6 of Hosea, where God is saying, I desire that you would know me. I desire that you would know me above sacrifice. So all of the ritual and all the things that we go through, think of a Sunday morning when we head off to church and we're there and there's a ceremony. Maybe there's the lifting of hands and there's prayer and singing and worship going on. But deep inside, people are treasuring a secret. And worst of all, they're feeling like they can't even share it. On today's show, we're going to discuss just that. We're going to talk about what happens when you uncover the secrets, what happens when you run to the house of God and find wholeness and find healing instead of running away. We're also going to talk about what happens when there's mental illness or mental disease. No one should be embarrassed that they need a savior because the truth is we all need a savior and his name is Jesus Christ. <laughs> 